What's going on guys? We're gonna do something a little bit different for you guys today. As you can see, we're gonna do a live voiceover. I need you guys to let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. But guys, I have my guy Josh in the chair. His brother is a regular client of mine. He is in the Air Force. It was in town for a wedding and needed to get cleaned up. So we're gonna do not really a high and tight, but a high ball fade with a number three on top. Let's hop right into it. So you guys can see, I'm gonna go every direction possible with this clipper. Guys, just because of growth patterns in the hair, we wanna make sure we get it cut down nice and even. And so you wanna make sure you go left, right, front to back, back to front, especially in the calic area or the crown area and in the front hairline. Make sure we go every direction so we get it cut down nice and consistent. Now guys, the way that I go about my haircuts is I like to do the top first as much as possible. And then I go ahead and set up that connection from the side to the top. So in this case, we're gonna come in with a number two. We're gonna go right up into the three that we started with, cutting the side down to a two so that we can come in and do our fade on the side. Next up, as usual, guys, we're gonna come in and set our ball guidelines. So I wanna really look at the shape where the two connected into the three, that is following his parietal ridge, following his head shape. And you guys can see as we put the ball line in, it's gonna follow that shape that that connection area was. It's gonna be about the same shape. And that's very important to me, guys. I like to make sure that the fade fits right underneath that connection to the top. So we're gonna go ahead and punch the line in with our slim line. Guys, I like to punch the line in because it is more precise. Then we're gonna come in and ball out actually with a sharper trimmer. And that's gonna do two things. It's gonna make it easier to transition the slim line up into the next section because the slim line is not very short. And then it's also gonna make it easier for the shaver to go over the skeleton trimmer. So it's gonna knock out kind of two birds with one stone. And if you guys want more info on this system that I'm talking about, check out my how to remove trimmer and shaver guidelines video and it will really break it down for you guys. Now we're gonna do our first section with our lever all the way open. And guys, these are the Babyliss Snap FX. I have a taper blade on them. I like to set my open section with a taper blade because it is a little bit longer and it's gonna make it easier when we move on to our next step. So we're gonna set a nice consistent guideline from front to back, again, following that same exact shape as the ball guideline. And once we get that set in, we can start to take the line out from the bottom. Now I'm gonna come in with my Stylecraft Rebel and it has the Fusion Blade on it, guys. So different than the Taper Blade, it does cut a little bit shorter. And the best thing about the Rebel with the Fusion Blade is it will take the bald line out. So we're gonna start with the clipper closed at the bottom of the section and then we will just work our way up. So if we're at the bottom, the clipper should be closed. And as we go up, if we're halfway up, the clipper should be halfway open. And at the very top, it should be all the way open. Now as we finish our steps, just working from closed to open, if there's any spots left, we just wanna play it safe and we're gonna come in with the corner of the clipper, start with the clipper open and attack those dark spots and we can close it up as needed until we get the blend looking how we want. Next, we're gonna come in with a one guard all the way open and we're gonna go up another three quarters of an inch. And you guys can see it's not leaving a drastic guideline because we were cutting into a close two and there's just gonna be a few spots left behind that we're gonna need our one and a half and we will come in with that next and blend those two together. Now that we connected everything to the top, all that we have left is the line between the open section and the open one. So we're gonna come in with our closed one and start to work that out. Now guys, we know that the closed one is not gonna take the line all the way out and we will need our half guard to finish cleaning that up all the way. So now we're gonna come in with our half guard. It is halfway open, guys. That is the sweet spot. It'll take a lot for me to explain why that is the sweet spot, but that is gonna be the sweet spot between the closed one and the open clipper. And that should take that last line out and clean this fade up, and then we can move on. Now we're gonna move on to the other side, guys. Same exact steps as before, and I wanna tell you guys again, I know if you watched my last couple of videos, we already talked about it, but guys, I had my first stop on my hands-on education tour at Fort Worth Barber Supply, August 8th, 
Guys, check out the flyer over here. If you guys want to get in, we have a few spots left, guys. It is going to be unreal. Basically, everything you are seeing in these videos, I'm going to break down all the way, guys. We're going to talk about how to handle the top in any different style, how to go about cutting the top and getting it set up, then how to transition from the top to the sides, just like I teach in my videos. And then, guys, I'm going to break down my fade steps, kind of what I just said about the half guard not being able to explain it. We're gonna do that at my hands-on class. And guys, I promise you it will be one of the biggest gems that you've ever learned in your barber career. So if you guys wanna get in on that, there are still some tickets available. Check out the link in the description and I hope to see all you guys there. And with that being said, guys, there will be some other stops on the tour. We're scheduling it right now. So if you guys have a city you want me to come to or you have a shop that we can do it at and you're pretty confident you can get some barbers to come take the class, leave me a comment in the comment section and we will see if we can make it happen. Now you guys can see on this side, it's not quite coming together as easy as the other side. So I'm spending a little bit of extra time with that half guard and coming back in with some of those guards. And that's the thing guys, sometimes people have a easier side of the head and a harder side of the head and you just have to act accordingly. Now before we move on to the back of the head guys, I'm gonna go ahead and spray some holding spray on the front hairline just to prepare it to come in and get the edge up nice and sharp. Now we're gonna move on to the back section guys and you can see because I already know what I'm doing, I've done two sides. I'm gonna come straight in with a one and a half and start to connect right into the top. Then we're gonna do our same exact steps that you guys saw on both sides. And guys, while we're finishing up the back, leave me some feedback down below, guys. I'm wanting to add one more video a week. I don't know if you guys know this, but I did step away from the shop another day, guys, so I'm only working two days in the barbershop, and I'm wanting to bring one more video a week out to you guys. I don't really have enough clients to do a full tutorial every week, I don't have enough equipment to do unboxings every week. So if you guys have any ideas on what I can bring to drop an extra video every week, leave it in the comment section down below. So now we can move on to the lineup, guys, and I'm using the Babelist Snap FX. These do have the DLC 2.0 blade. And guys, after using them for a while, they actually do hit pretty nice. You guys know I wasn't a fan of those, but I did just recently get in these Stylecraft Saber trimmers. And if you guys wanna see that unboxing, stay tuned for Sunday's video, and you guys can check it out. Make sure that you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on. But anyway, guys, we are just gonna work from one side to the other, straight across, taking off as little as possible. He did tell me he has quite a widow's peak, and guys, this is a little bit of bangs. Hang over that we are cutting off. So we're not really pushing him back. We just want to get it nice and sharp, straight across while cutting off as little as possible. Then we'll knock out the vertical bars, get them nice and sharp. We can lay them back, do some razor work, and we'll be done with this cut. So I'm gonna come in with my 245 triple cartridge razor. You guys know I use the fully exposed blade, so I like to see the blade. We're gonna work our way across the front hairline. And guys, we're not looking to cut off any more hair than we already did. Maybe on the forehead, but we don't wanna go back into the hairline. We just wanna take that razor blade to the line that we already got, and it's gonna make it nice and sharp. So we wanna stretch the skin, pull the blade to the line, make sure we get it as sharp as possible. We'll work our way over to the corner, and then do the vertical bar, and you guys can check out this finish cut. All right guys, so there's the finished cut. I wouldn't really call it a military high and tight. Like I said, he is in the Air Force and he wanted it pretty high and tight. To me, a high fade only has the vertical bars, just like a high taper. So basically we just start the ball line at the bottom of the vertical bar and that is a high fade to me. Of course, we could have done this a little bit higher and fit it in, but I think it turned out super nice. Nice sharp hairline, nice and bald on the sides. I know my man was happy and I'm sure he was one of the best looking cats at the wedding that weekend. But anyway, guys, that is it for the video. I appreciate you guys watching, as always. If you guys like this new setup with me live in the voiceover, leave me a comment and let me know, please. I really appreciate your guys' feedback. And again, let me know if you guys have any ideas on some other content that I can drop. I wanna add one more video a week, so that would be three, three drops a week. But anyway, guys, like I said, stay tuned for the Sabre Trimmer unboxing, and I have another couple of unboxings coming. I recorded them all in one day, and I got them lined up. So if you guys want to see those unboxings, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you guys will know as soon as they drop. I almost forgot, guys, but make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video. I appreciate you guys watching, as always, and I'll catch you guys next time.